If that courier isn't here in five minutes, I'm going to turn his skull into a... Oh, there you are. I presume this person meets all of my requirements. You're quite lucky to be alive after failing me once. You won't survive a second mistake. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No groveling. Just leave us. So... Here you are. It was quite difficult to find you. Well, difficult for my servants. If I were to demean myself to such a menial task, I could have found you in minutes. Regardless, I certainly hope you are worth the wait. We have much to do, my new servant. Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission to speak. I will forgive you, because speaking freely is necessary for your task. But always remember whose presence you're in. I'm sorry. I think I misheard you. I could have sworn you just called me the Evil Queen. I'm certain that's not what you said, because not even a lowly commoner like you could possibly be foolhardy enough to use that spiteful nickname right in front of me. Yes, I thought so. Just so you know, my proper title is Queen of Gorill, Empress of the Great Abyssal Empire, and Most High Sorceress. For the sake of brevity, you may address me as Your Magnificence. Excellent. Come closer. I want to get a good look at you. You're quite pleasing to the eye. The last advisor that was brought to me was horrible to look at. What? Yes, an advisor. Are you telling me you weren't told why you're here? He was in too much of a hurry? Huh. Too bad. He had almost redeemed himself. You there, guard. Find the courier. Throw him to my chimera. It's been nearly a week since that poor thing had human flesh. A diet of beef and mutton is hardly fitting for one of my creations. Now, I suppose I'll have to explain exactly what it is you're here for. I've recently found myself in need of a diplomatic advisor. Well... Ever since I seized the crown of Gorill and started building my empire, I've mainly relied on strength. My magic is potent and far-reaching, and I've amassed one of the mightiest armies in the world. And for a while, I never imagined I'd need anything else. But, you see, until recently I had a rival. Karela the Great Witch holds power similar to mine, and was creating a competing empire. But she made too many enemies too quickly, and a group of nations allied together. They are currently in the process of dismantling her domain, piece by piece. I'm becoming increasingly concerned that once they're finished with her, they'll turn to me next. So I need to learn how to play nice with the leaders of this new alliance. Oh, no, no, no. Don't misunderstand. I have no intentions of becoming friends with that troop of chess-beating apes. I just need to buy time to gain enough power to take them all out at once. My goal is to build a globe-spanning empire, encompassing every land and every race. Anything or anyone who gets in my way of that goal is practically dead already. I sent my courier, may he rest in pieces, to fetch someone well known for being likeable, and it sounds like people in your hometown have quite a lot of good things to say about you. I trust that you'll become more than suited to helping me win the hearts of my enemies. Hmm. I expected that response. 
I'd be careful about false modesty, servant. It won't get you anything pleasant from me. Now that you're here, you'll be serving me one way or another, and advisor is the best option by far. The next best position would probably be as caretaker for my chimera. It wouldn't be a very pleasant job, but at least it would be over soon. Everybody slips up at some point, and chimeras, much like myself, aren't known for being forgiving. But if you really think that you aren't capable of being my advisor, then... That's better. I'm glad to see you aren't stubborn. Stubborn servants don't tend to last very long. So, I imagine the first thing I should be doing is sending them a message to convince them that I am not a threat. Does that sound right to you? Good, good. That desk over there is for you, complete with writing supplies. Sit down and make use of them. I am going to dictate the message to you. You have the unique privilege of interrupting me if what I'm saying doesn't seem friendly enough. Uh, you do know how to write, don't you? Wonderful. Now, let's see. <clears throat> to the so-called Eastern Kingdom Alliance. What? Already? What did I say? Well, if I recognise their alliance as legitimate, aren't I implying that they're doing the right thing? This alliance of theirs is nothing more than the cowardly instinct of the weak to huddle... Uh, okay. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I can see how it could be taken as... Uh, hostile. So, remove the so-called? Ugh, all right. To the... Distinguished Eastern Kingdom Alliance. Ugh, Gurgmu. Allow me to be the first to congratulate each member nation on their decision to gang up on... No, you don't even need to say it. I heard it as soon as it came out of my mouth. Ugh. On their decision to unite against an enemy of peace. Ugh. I'm starting to feel genuinely ill. I'm not kidding. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> I wish to take this opportunity to remind you that while my actions resemble those of Corella the Great Witch, my intentions are entirely different. The several nations that I've conquered are lazy, self-destructive yahoos who needed a guiding hand. I... Ugh. All right, fine then. Lazy, self-destructive barbarians who... Oh, come on now. That's 100% true. You can't deny that. You were all worthless before I came along. Well, I mean, you're still worthless, but uh, you can pretend that you're slightly more important, being the subjects of the world's most powerful sorcerers. They won't see it that way. That's because they're morons. This is much harder than I thought it would be. Maybe I'd have better luck with seduction instead. I mean, some of the leaders are female, but that hasn't stopped me before. Well, even if I did choose to say something different, how would I convince those self-righteous idiots that my conquests have all been justified? Watch it. I didn't hire you to question my morality. I hired you to make me look good. Well, look innocent. I always look good. So? I'm waiting. How do I explain the several wars I've waged on those so-called innocents? You don't know? Then why are you here? Ugh. I should have known a commoner wouldn't have the brains to handle politics. Too bad I killed off anybody with any leadership skills when I took over. Ah oh, well. Guards. Ugh, 
don't bother grovelling. Well, maybe you can grovel a little. But if I were you, I wouldn't be insisting that I didn't do anything wrong. I would be explaining how I would be able to serve better in the future. Huh. If I were you... Is that how you friendly types know how to say things people like? Pretend you were them, and think about what you'd want to hear. Interesting. I may have solved my own problem. I don't have to justify my conquests. If I were them, I wouldn't believe a single thing I said. I'd want to hear about how I'd change. Hmm, perhaps you'll be useful to me after all, as a source of inspiration, if nothing else. I suppose you did have some useful insights earlier. All right, I'll keep you after all. Now, we do need to finish that letter at some point. But uh, personally, this whole thing has me exhausted. We have plenty of time to work later. For now, let's take a break and have dinner. It will give us a chance to get to know each other outside of work. I, uh, trust you have nowhere else to be? <laughs> of course you don't. I was only joking. From now on, the only place you ever need to be is wherever I want you. The only thing you need to do is follow my orders. Isn't that nice? You can leave all the thinking to your queen. Sometimes I wonder why so few people seem to appreciate that. But you're happy to let me handle things, aren't you? Very good. Oh, you know, I haven't thought about what to call you. No, no, not your name. I can't be bothered to learn everyone's names. A title. Servant? Ah, uh, but I already have so many servants. Advisor? Perhaps sometimes, but uh, I want to be able to call you something less formal when I'm in a good mood. Helper? Yes, I like that. You're my little helper. That's what I'll call you from now on. Come along, little helper. Let's see what the cooks have ready for us today.